tonight to welcome our dear friend and future mayor of New York City, the Honorable Bill de Blasio. Bill de Blasio has a proven record of sensitivity to the Jewish community and has shown a deep understanding of our unique values and concerns throughout his years in public office. Bill de Blasio proved himself when he served in the city council and represented Borough Park for eight years. His door was always open for our community. He helped us with health care, housing and education and delivered numerous government programs and grants for yeshivas. Bill de Blasio further proved himself when he served as public advocate for the last four years. He was the first one in politics to come to our defense on the issue of Matsitsa Bepay and he's the only candidate that recommitted himself now to guarantee that we as Orthodox Jews can practice the mitzvah of bris milah without compromise. We have no doubt that Bill de Blasio will continue to prove himself loyal to our community in City Hall. He's an honest man, a true and trusted friend, and will make a great mayor. We are honored and delighted to endorse him as the future mayor of New York City. In two days from today, this Tuesday, September 10th, our communities in Williamsburg and Borough Park, that together we form a powerful block vote of 10,000 votes strong, will all go out and vote for Bill de Blasio for the next mayor of New York City. We know it's a very busy time, right in the middle of the high holy days, but if Bill de Blasio made his time to come to us 48 hours before the election, we all must make time to go out and vote for him. So now, without further ado, it's my honor to introduce to you the Honorable Bill de Blasio, the next great mayor of our great city of New York. Good evening, everyone. First, I want to wish everyone every member of this community and all of your families a happy and healthy year I want to start at the beginning thanking the Rebbe for his extraordinary leadership it is such an honor to be here today to know he's just addressed this community and his leadership makes this community strong we thank the Rebbe for all he does I want to thank my friend Rabbi Moshe Indig for his leadership. I have known him for many years. We've developed a friendship and a trust and his support, his friendship means so much to me personally. Let's thank him for all he does for the community. I want to thank Rabbi Moshe Mordecai for his leadership of the yeshiva, his outstanding leadership educating the next generation of this community. I'm sorry, Mordecai hurts my apology. I want to thank Rabbi Isaac Sofer for what he does to advocate for this community in the political world. And that takes constant work and constant vigilance, and we thank him for his leadership. Now look, we need to make some real changes in this city. Because for too long, some people have favored Manhattan over all the other boroughs. For too long, hard-working people in this city have been ignored. Homeowners have been ignored. Small business owners have been ignored. There are too many policies of the current administration that have hurt everyday people. Now, I tell you, I come to you today not only as a friend of the Jewish community, but as a Brooklynite myself, as a homeowner myself, as someone who thinks from the perspective of neighborhood and family like so many people here today. And it's time for a leader in City Hall who knows this community, appreciates what this community does for New York City every day, and wants to offer a helping hand and an open door to the Jewish community so we can all move forward together. You know, it's time, when it comes, for example, to our small businesses, it's time to stop all the fines, all the harassment of small business that's made it harder for small business to survive, harder to create jobs that we need. Small business is a backbone of the community. 
But under Mayor Bloomberg, it's often been treated like the enemy, and that's unacceptable. It's time to embrace our small businesses. It's time to support hardworking homeowners. It's time to recognize that every community, every community in this city needs affordable housing, but no community needs it more particularly than the Jewish community because your shuls are here, your yeshivas are here. We need to build the housing for the families that need to take advantage of these wonderful community facilities. And by the way, you know, at one point, Mayor Bloomberg was proposing the small micro studios. He thought that was the kind of housing we needed in New York City. I think we need housing for large families, too. And if there's one area I disagree with the current administration, if there's one area I want to make change in, it's the way we treat children. And, you know, Mayor Bloomberg tried for years to cut out child care vouchers. They're called Priority 5 and 7 vouchers. They're specifically child care for large families. Families that don't have a lot of money, have a number of children, they need help. Now this mayor, he single-handedly took away every single child care voucher for large families in this city. And I fought him for years, and for years we stopped him, and finally, unfortunately, he won the day. Well, I want you to know, when I'm in City Hall, I look forward to the day soon when we restore the child care vouchers for large families. So, now all I can say is it depends on you. I've told you the kind of changes we have to make. You've heard about my long and close relationship with the community. You'll know that you won't have to explain the community's needs to me because I already have the history and the friendship and the relationship with the community. You'll know that I don't have trouble finding out where Brooklyn is because I live in Brooklyn myself. Now, now, what we need to do is get everyone out to vote on Tuesday. I need your help, but I want to ask you to vote for another reason, for the empowerment of this community. Because it's so important that this community show its, its real vital importance to New York City by representing its strength at the voting booth. You know, people make assumptions, but one thing is a fact. When you come out and vote, you show the full strength of the community. And I need your help, but your vote will also help to make sure policies change that help this community. So on Tuesday, please, every member of your family, everyone you know, tell them how much it matters to vote. And I humbly say I deeply appreciate your support. It's going to be one of the reasons why I'll have the honor of being your mayor. And I will never forget the support you've given me. Thank you and God bless you. A friend of the mayor, he told me to announce to our community that he is the only mayor candidate that promised Matitsa Bipa, what Bloomberg did, he will right away take away. He will sit down with our rabbis, with the Rabbonim. He will not have his meeting with the lawyers. His meeting will be with the rabbis. And right away, he will be eliminated. He is the mayor for New York City. Thank you.